once again. Hello once again YouTube, Andy with you with another video. So today we are at a place called Stratton Wood. It's on the northeast side of Swindon. Um, I was on the other side of town yesterday, different side of town today. Today's format basically is something similar to yesterday, going to be cycling around this part of the woodland, just getting my 20 minutes of feel good factor out in nature with my little doggies. Um, and then probably fly my drone in and around Stratton Woods. I've just been around Greg's house. Greg, I think I made a bit of a mistake. I posted the Hubson batteries through your neighbor's house, the farmhouse. So if you want to go around there, they are there in, uh, in their post box. Sorry, I, I just forgot where about she lives. It's been a few years, hasn't it? Anyway, so the Hubson drones, there's three of them, two work. One I cannot get to work, but I'm sure you'll figure something out with that. Right, enough of my waffling, enough of that. Let's, uh, let's do some cycling and uh, just get ourselves out in, the, uh, in this lovely woodland and go and explore.
Well, that was pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I'm just going to slow it down uh, for, uh, for a few moments. I didn't push it mega hard. You know, I've got my little doggies with me and I've got to be mindful of those. And certain places there where you just couldn't, you couldn't really sort of whack it really hard, you know. Uh, but, you know, it's amazing how the drone kept up with me there. That was quite incredible. I did lose it a couple of times. There was a few, let's say, tight corners um, where I just couldn't get the drone around just because of the corner was just so tight. But no doubt, if I had it on close to me or medium even, I think it might have even handled those quite well. The setting I've got it on is far. Uh, so it's, it's probably flying perhaps about uh, 10, uh, maybe eight meters behind me, but I thought it did really, really well. Anyway, so there's a lovely place there, uh, a bit of wilderness. Um, what I want to do is go and fly my drone in there, but it's just, obviously it's getting in there at the moment, um, which is a bit of a, a bit of a trial actually, because I can normally get down there, but I can see that they've got it all, all shut off, but I'm sure there's a, well, there's a will, there's a way we can get in there and fly my drone. I think there's probably quite a lot of wildlife in there, but it's very dense. It's very thick. Um, it's going to offer quite a challenge, I think, to fly my drone in that. So brace yourself. Yeah, uh, that used to be a really nice walk uh, just a few months ago. Uh, you can see they're building some kind of a track where JCBs and excavators and heavy plant can come down because what's happening in the field, the other side of that uh, row of trees there, uh, they're building um, uh, so many hundred or thousands of houses. Uh, shame really. Um, uh, once you lose this place, then you never get it back. That's the problem. And it's quite sad. You know, we... Man comes along with these great plans, doesn't it? You know, but he doesn't realise what kind of environmental damage he's really doing. Oh, yes, he's awful carbon neutral and net zero and all this kind of thing. But if they were to really be truthful with themselves, they're really shooting themselves in the foot. This is anything really but net zero and, and carbon neutral. Right, okay, so here we go again then, guys. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a, an interesting one, isn't it? Take you off. Uh, get filming. And uh, we get flying. Fingers crossed this is going to go okay. Uh, this is going to be a bit tougher than yesterday's flight, I fear. Good thing is there's no water around here, so uh, that's obviously a bonus, isn't it? There's going to be one or two downings on this one, guys. I can see it right now. This is going to be pretty tough to fly around. There we go. We got the first one already. I didn't take long, did it? 20 seconds. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Flight number two, then. We'll pretend that one didn't happen, okay? Film in. We'll take you off in a slightly different direction. Trying to avoid the trees and whatever else is in this wood to uh, bring little droney down. But yeah, uh, it's a bit of a shame, really, that you know what they're doing to uh, our environment. I mean, this place has been. Well, it's been here forever, really, but I mean, it's not uh, an ancient or an old 
little cops. It's only really been here about the past 25 years, perhaps. Uh, so it's not very old at all. But it's very lovely, though. Lots of nice open areas in parts. Lots of lovely woodland like this. And um, it's just a nice place to be, really. Ah. Okay, we'll take our time. Yeah, this is a place where you've got to respect it. And I didn't respect that very much, did I? Okay, yeah, this is a, a bit more difficult than I'd like, to be honest. Um, just caught something, I just caught that, I think. Uh, I think we're okay, though. Okay. Right. Sorry about this, guys. It just, this doesn't, if you're of a nervous disposition, uh, this isn't helping much, is it? <laughs> you know, and you're the, you're the viewer, I'm the flyer. How do you think I feel? <laughs> I feel absolutely wonderful, actually. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got so much confidence, you know, in this, this little drone to do what I want it to do. I really have. Um, because it offers so much protection around the gimbal and the, um, and the props. Um, you know, you, you've got to be really, really unlucky to, uh, to really damage it. Um, you know, uh, but for what I do, this is absolutely just perfect. It really is. I love it. I really do like this. Getting out here for 20 minutes, half an hour, flying around, cycling around. You know, my endorphin level is kind of through the roof at the moment. Um, and I do suffer with a bit of um, anxiety, as we all do, and kind of depression, I suppose, in a sense. You know, it's been a, it's been a tough. You know, a couple of years for me, what we're losing my little taxi business and chauffeur company. You know, I was doing really, really well with that. You know, making pretty good money and enjoying my work and being my own boss and doing what I want to do, you know. And having that kind of ripped away from me, um, it kind of messes some people up, let's say. You know, puts it can put you in a bad place in a very, you know, short period of time. And I kind of was. Um, so I needed something, you know, I could see, I could feel myself slipping down and down and down, you know, so I mean, thank God it didn't happen in the lockdown because I would, would have been really stuffed. I'm just so glad that I can get out here and do what I, I mean, if you suffer with any kind of depression, mental illness, anxiety, or something along those lines, something, you know, cognitive, then I would say doing something like this, just getting out, you haven't got a fly drone, you haven't got to ride a bike, you know, you really just got to be part of the great outdoors really, and this is kind of what I do. And I really like it. Um, and it just ticks my box, it really does. Okay. But that's sad, to see that over there, like that. Okay, that's to me, that was a lovely walk some time ago. But look at it now. These big monsters come along, don't they? You know, they just dig the whole place up. I'm hoping that that's not going to be a permanent road. I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to be a permanent road, but I mean, what would you rather see? That behind us or, or this, what we're going into now? I kind of know what I would like to see.
Give a tree a hug, uh, guys, okay? They deserve it. <laughs> they feed us oxygen. Without them, we're absolutely stuffed. Uh, it's been enjoyable out here. Um, yeah. Listen to it. You know, it's just the sound of nature. Isn't it wonderful? Because it doesn't make any sound. It just is. You know, and... I sometimes think we're human beings. We're kind of stuck in cities and towns and high-rise apartments and we've got these very high power jobs and we earn lots of money but it's not really living that is not really living guys i'd rather be poor and in a place like this than be rich in a big city and have no life <laughs> Okay, so that's probably the end of my video today. Sorry if it's gone on for a bit longer than normal, um, but I just wanted to try and document pretty much uh, most of the, what I think, fairly nice, lovely, and kind of important things on my little outing today. Uh, one downside, well, a couple really, I suppose, being very, very ultra critical. Um, the, the Neo didn't follow me all the way around, but I mean, the reasons why are fairly obvious, aren't they? Okay, it lost me. Never mind, you did well. You did well. You did really, really well. Amazing little drone. Completely blown away by it. Uh, a few little crashes in the woods. I mean, just look at it. It's an absolute jungle. And uh, the other downside is I've got a flat tire. I think I've got, I think I've got a flat back tyre. <laughs> there we go, flat as an absolute pancake. I've not changed a bike tyre in about, ooh, 45 years. And um, I think Wiltshire man might have to come to the rescue here. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink and all the rest of it. So if you're not busy, Wiltshire man, um come and give your brother a hand <laughs> anyway guys i just want to say thanks for watching it's been an absolute pleasure out here. i've absolutely enjoyed it this is my i'm in my element i really am i'm in my element here so uh thanks for watching take care and bye for now